or is this Seagate <laughs> no. interested in Ripple? We should say that Seagate hasn't responded to requests for comments. So this is a report and perhaps some rumors, but nonetheless, like you said, markets are moving on it. In particular, uh, Ripple market is moving. What was really interesting is I think we have an intraday chart uh, that shows the percent change as of Friday. We're ignoring the Saturday and Sunday trading volume. You see a little bit of a decline in the currency and then they've recovered a little bit of their losses. Look at their on reports of this. Um, so Ripple has been very volatile. What's interesting here though is analysts over at Susquehanna were saying that this stake at Ripple at least for Seagate will not materially affect their upside and that you could sell on any of this strength. Uh, so that was interesting to know. Another thing that you mentioned was that it's the third biggest cryptocurrency right now. Ripple and Ethereum have been going back and forth between number two and number three. You have Bitcoin, of course, number one, about $246 billion in market cap, and then Ethereum, and then Ripple. Be interesting to see how today's news sort of plays into Ripple, maybe goes up back up on the food chain as they do the horse race for also two and three. interesting to watch what Seagate Technologies is doing, because this isn't the first maybe unusual investment it's made. Mm -hmm. They've traditionally been in the hard drive, which is a more of a a slower growth area and they have been moving slowly like with the Toshiba purchase into some higher growth areas that was with the 3D NANs so you've seen a little bit of this one way that the investor has been looking at this has been free cash flow we have a chart showing that in the recent years free cash flow has been a little bit lower uh, so this could be part of that push to sort of boost that free cash flow growth something that investors are excited about as they go into perhaps some of these higher growth areas